Hi guys, Austin Mengler here. I'm an artist and illustrator from Perth, Australia, and I've come to you today to talk to you about my Ricky Gervais zombie picture. Also, I should mention that the total time for this uh, colouring was probably about an hour and a half, and I probably spent about half an hour to an hour on the uh, original sketch. I'm using uh, Photoshop CS5, I believe. It's an older program, and I've got my Wacom Intuos 3 graphics tablet, an older one as well. So here I'm uh, tidying up my line work. Um, it's always great when you're you know, just starting out doing uh, Photoshop work digital, you don't know where to go. Sometimes it's good to you know, scan your uh, traditional work, like ink work or pencil, and then you can easily um, you know, work from that as a base, and it will give you somewhere to go on. So uh, it happened pretty quick there, but what I did was uh, I just added all the effects and editing of the line work and put it in a folder above the color work and then set that uh, folder to multiply. So that means that, um, you know, it'll only uh, show up, it'll only, it'll be like all the white is transparent. So that means that I'm able to use the color underneath and paint it normally like I would, but, um, you know, basically just color in my own um, artwork and that's uh, one of the ways you can do it. Another way is to have the ink work as a base and then use the color and set them to multiply. So you know it's about the same sort of thing but just using the multiply layer is a pretty much a great way of like the way I color most of my work and set up a base coat um, and then you know I go into painting normally later on. So I've got uh, Ricky Gervais' face there going, ah! So, uh, or he's like laughing. So, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm just using that as a reference, uh, mainly for a bit of the expression, a bit of the light source, um, how the shadows play on the face, uh, stuff like that. You can see I've started to include the, uh, the, the shadow in the middle of the face, and then because it's a white background, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm keeping the edge is very light compared to give it a weird look and to match the the kind of portrait there so here i'm just adding some more teeth um you know just lots of uh lots of all over the place you know i have quite a natural work style where i just it's just you know having fun just um put some music on just have a chill and draw what you want to draw um there's you know there's not really a regimented process to it but it's mainly just Use the do a sketch or scan something, then go multiply layer base colors, then maybe you know use an overlay layer like I am right now, um, or do some painting first and then overlay. Um, overlay is a great way to kind of use blood work or you know if you want to dye your existing colors, um, it's a great way to like just shade something. Um, I've also got uh, my you know go to blood brushes there from DeviantArt. If you just search blood brushes on DeviantArt or on, you know, some sort of Photoshop brush forum, then you can download a custom uh, .abr file and then um, just install that and then you just double click on it and then it will come up in your brushes, um, in your brushes library. And you can just play around, see what ones you like, see what ones you don't. I've got a whole bunch you can check out on my DeviantArt profile, just Austin Mengler at uh, austinmengler.deviantart.com. So, Check that out. Um, lots of, you know, obviously you don't want to just overuse them. They're much better to use when you're using them to kind of emphasize your existing work. So you don't want to just do crazy splatter brushes all over the place. Like, you know, you might want to just to experiment. It might be fun. But I'm just saying that they're not going to make you a better artist per se. You still have to learn how to draw and then do a lot of life drawing, do a lot of um, studying and... Um, then, you know, brushes and custom brushes are great for doing the shortcut kind of things once you've learned it, kind of the fundamentals. So, anyway, here I'm, uh, I've had a lot of coffee this morning actually, so sorry if I'm talking quite quickly, but I just thought I'd record a commentary for you, and apologies again if it's been a long time coming. Um, it's a bit of a wake-up call when I look at these old recordings, and it's a completely different version of Photoshop, it means... I haven't done it yet, so anyway. But, you know, I've been very busy. I've got, um, you know, a lot of new exciting projects um, that I'll be announcing soon. I've got a 
sketchbooks for my shadows. I'm um, redesigning my own website and um, I should have some sort of store set up as well. And um, also lots of conventions and lots more freelance work. So I'm a busy little bee, but I've got lots more videos coming too. So look out for them sometime soon. Anyway, back to the picture. Um, so yeah, I'm just um, having lots of fun drawing some of the hair now. It's, it's pretty much just um, you know, a self-explanatory process. Um, it's a bit of an older piece for me, as I mentioned. So, if I was to do it again, um, a great way to you know get a new perspective on your piece is to um, select everything, um, and or, or go to edit and then flip horizontal, and you can um, uh, un under the transform, um, you know, menu item because then you can just completely reverse your image and see a whole new perspective of it. Um, you know, old masters used to do it with a physical mirror up to their painting and it's a great way to you know get a fresh look on your piece because um, you might you know get very used to looking at it the one way and then if you flip it you'll see a lot of the proportions are wrong or if you get it looking right on both angles overall it'll look much better um, but yeah this was a really fun piece for me because um, it was just part of a series I did called um, Zombedians uh, a while back um, you know I only did a, several pieces um, I didn't want to hammer it into the ground or anything but it was just a few of my favorite comedians and YouTubers, uh, you know, Louis C.K., Ricky Gervais, uh, you know, Carl Pilkington, Mac and Mesh, another great one there. I love those guys. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's it was funny because I, I just did it as a fun experiment and kind of practicing my zombie portraits. Um, and then on Halloween one year, um, Ricky Gervais actually used this image as his Facebook uh, profile picture and on Twitter. So it was pretty... Um, pretty fun to see like you know that and, and he gave me a shout out thankfully and he uh he linked to my facebook page so um thanks again ricky um it's always a fun story to tell at the conventions and um yeah i'm really glad he liked it um but you know it's just a testament that um you know if you do a piece um and you you know do it of some sort of celebrity or some sort of pop culture icon you want to give it a, a different kind of look a different kind of your own feel because then um you know you never know where it might end up. Um, you know, obviously, always um, put your put your website or put your name on your piece. Um, I always put austinmengler dot com or austinmengler on deviantart dot com down the bottom. Um, and you know, always sign your work. Um, and then when you're putting it on the web, you know, it's it's great to do a whole kind of series of pieces, kind of like my Game of Thrones series, where you want to get something that people like to you know share and show with their friends. Um, I'm always seeing my zombie corn image shown everywhere um so it's kind of interesting um but yeah always remember to credit the artists as well um <laughs> because it's very uh very uh very fun to see when uh, someone you know shares your work and they completely crop your website out but anyway that's another rant for another day but anyway um back to the video i'm you know doing a lot of final highlights here and just rendering um I'm uh, using the color picker to grab some of the some of the um, color, um, and that's a great um, complement to the overlay use I did before, where um, you know now that you've got a shade of different colors, you've uh, added a lot of different range of colors to your piece, and then if you pick from those colors, you can then paint and um, create more varying colors, and always you know use new colors as well, because um, if you color pick too much you can gray out your image a bit um, so now I'm just going in and doing some final highlights with the white because um, it's a very white background I've um, you know I bled in the white highlight onto his chin a bit so that the uh, the, the objects kind of they're bro broken up a little bit so um, you can see the the face and then the neck and then the, the body the silhouette added a few more blood uh, and spit kind of textures down there for some nice uh, gristle and then finally adding some, uh, you know, a bit of a bloom to the white background just so that it, um, you know, gives it more of a depth. Um, if I was to do it again, maybe I'd add a bit of a blur to the final line there. Um, and then, you know, if you, if you add like a bloom or some sort of over-the-top um, white atmosphere kind of effect, you can always, um, if you paint, make it a new layer, you can always lower the opacity and bleed it in to see what works for you. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's very quick, sorry. I probably could have done another walkthrough, but um, I've got lots more coming. Um, lots of uh, 
hopeful videos. I know I always say that and then hard to get around to it, but you know, I'll, I'll be setting up some sort of uh, maybe a Patreon, maybe some sort of thing like that. So please stay tuned and thanks a lot for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy and you know, if you have any suggestions or comments um, for what you'd like to see from me, please feel free to let me know in a comment or in a message. Um, you know, I'm just one guy just making my kind of art career so YouTube is definitely not my main thing but I, I'd love to get more behind the scenes content out for you guys so thank you very much and have a nice day see you later